Hi, my name is Kate Randall and I am the creator of Kate and Barrel Designs here in Tucson, Arizona. And today I am so happy to join you guys because we are going to be looking at creating a uh, painted technique across the top of this drawer. This drawer will be the top piece on this waterfall dresser that you can see behind me a little bit. Uh, and so with that being said, we're going to be decoupaging the front of it in the future but the poster doesn't fit the whole entire uh, front of the drawer. So in order to create a uniform look, I'm gonna try to recreate this kind of look right here with this color rendering on the top half of this drawer and then we'll decoupage kind of this bottom part right here. So I'll probably end up painting the entire drawer just so there's a base as well. I've already applied like an anti-bleed um, on top of here so hopefully that holds and we're good uh, because we're gonna be using some Annie Sloan colors we're gonna be using country gray we're going to be using cream on floor uh, old orker ochre <laughs> I always mispronounce that <laughs> graphite and I also pulled out some French linen to kind of see how this works together and mixes together. So we're gonna kind of play together. So I'm super excited. Uh, I'm gonna use some sponge techniques on it. And I've got a couple paper plates down here so I can go ahead and kind of put each color on here and start playing and seeing, seeing kind of what we come up with. So I'm really thinking I'm gonna start with a um, an on floor base to kind of bring in my browns. I probably won't use a ton of it, but just enough. Uh, I then will put some of my country gray down on here. I'm not using a ton. My old orker, ochre, <laughs> little cream. And if the colors mix together, that's okay too, because um, they're gonna end up mixing on, on the piece anyways. Some French linen and let's put some graphite on here as well. Okay, so let's start with a little bit of the um, on floor. I'm just gonna go ahead and put a little bit on my sponge right here and bring it through. I have covered up all the, the holes it's a really cool technique that I learned how to do uh, where you, you basically use a, like a wooden dowel and cut it to your length and then you don't have to worry about constantly filling, filling, filling and filling in some crazy divots or anything like that. So that's why I really like it. I kind of want to do this quick uh, just because I want to be able to just bring in colors as they're wet. See if I can really blend and create that color tone. I have this poster next to me to kind of help <laughs> so I can keep an eye on it and see if the color rendering is going to work. Uh, some places are going to be darker, some places are going to be lighter. Looks really cool so far actually. <laughs> I'm really liking. Um, I think it, this is the, the country gray and the on floor together and it's coming out really really nice already. So I really like how that's working. I am bringing it just a little further down. I'm not exactly sure exactly where the poster is going to be sitting, but I know it's gonna be somewhere kind of halfway in between, so. And these are kind of mixing a little bit together, and I like that kind of lightening up the on floor a little bit, creating a more kind of like dark creamy brown so you guys can see how that's working. So I need a little bit more of this.
really gonna work out. <laughs> That's for sure. You guys can hear the creakiness of the drawer too. It's kind of like I'm beating it to death. <laughs> And once this dries, I will kind of go over it with the sandpaper, like smooth it out a little bit, all that good stuff. I'm not sure if I'm gonna use a lot of the cream. Might be a little too bright for it. Kind of see how it works out. looking pretty close. It's not going to be exact, right? But I want to get close. And we are kind of getting close to that color rendering. So I might not end up having to use all these colors, which is pretty awesome. Popping that in. You guys can see kind of the color changes that are happening, hopefully. Kind of like a smoky brown grays looking feel to it. And this is just a sea sponge. You can use pretty much any kind of sponge you want based on the texture that you're going for. 
don't recommend kitchen sponges, but you could if you wanted to. You can get sea sponges pretty much anywhere. Michaels, Amazon, <laughs> Joanne's Fabric, I think has them, believe it or not. Their craft sections. So, there you go. I think I might have gone a little bit more gray <laughs> than cream. Um, so I might need to bring some of this lighter back in. Kind of bring in some more of the brown hues. Again, it's just kind of to transition the colors, not, not to be absolutely perfect. I mean, it's not going to match exactly that's just not gonna happen right so and this even is giving it a little bit of texture that's why the sponge is kind of so cool we're not worried about it's not supposed to be like a smooth blend it's supposed to be more of like a texturized feel and look to it so there you go so I'm actually gonna end up doing this to the bottom of the bottom drawer as well and then I'll go ahead and start the decoupage so if you like this video definitely give the give it a thumbs up uh, if you are wanting to see more make sure that you subscribe to my channel and I will be definitely doing another segment with you guys on how to do the decoupage portion of this dresser so I hope to see you soon bye